As Christ cared for and restored the lives of those around him, so too the Church seeks to embody a spirit of healing and rehabilitation for those faced with life's challenges. The Restorative Care Plan, or RCP, is how the whole Church seeks to support the individual member in restoring health and assist the community of faith or employer in continuing to provide salary and benefits. The goal of the RCP is to support individuals during an illness or injury while they recover and prepare to return to their work safely. The RCP lasts six months. If a ministry personnel or a lay employee is away from work for longer than six months, they may be eligible for a transition to a long-term disability or LTD plan. All active ministry personnel and lay employees are eligible for the restorative care plan, provided they are under the age of 71. They are not receiving a pension from the United Church of Canada. They work 14 hours or more weekly, and they participate in the United Church of Canada's group benefits plan. To qualify for benefits under the RCP, your absence must be medically supported. Whether a staff member or an employer, the journey through the RCP process is like a roadmap. Let's begin looking at the roadmap from the perspective of an employee who is ill or injured. It begins when you become ill. If you suspect that it's the flu or other short-term illness, and expect the medical absence not to exceed two weeks, you don't need to file a claim. If your medical absent extends beyond two weeks, you should file a claim. If you know that your medical absence will be longer than two weeks for a knee replacement, for instance, you will want to file a claim early. Contact your regional council staff or the disability team at the general council office to file a claim and complete a medical absence report. The form will soon be available online. Morneau Chappelle manages the RCP program on behalf of the United Church of Canada and utilizes professional resources to review your confidential claim information. They will review your supporting medical information and, if substantiated, will approve a claim. If approved, your case manager will support you while on the RCP program. At the same time, the employer starts receiving reimbursements for your salary. The reimbursement amount is 85% of your pre-disability pensionable earnings. You return to work once your case manager has determined you are ready, based on the medical evidence supplied by the physician. Alternatively, you can file for a long-term disability if you are expected to be away beyond the six-month RCP period. Also, there is a possibility that the claim is not medically supported, so a return to work might be anticipated in the event of the claim being denied. When an employee makes a claim, the community of faith, as employer, will receive approval from Morneau Chappelle that the absence is medically supported. The community of faith is responsible for paying the ministry personnel or lay employee their salary during their approved leave. In addition, the employer is responsible for maintaining contact with the ministry personnel or lay employee and continuing the ministry personnel's or lay employee's work during their absence. The employer does not have the right to ask about the diagnosis or nature of an illness. Any medical information intentionally or inadvertently received is to be held in strict confidence and cannot be shared without the written agreement of a disabled member. The community of faith will receive documents by mail from the disability team once the claim has been approved. The community of faith will complete and return the certification of payment and direct deposit form to the disability team at the general counsel office once the claim has been approved. Once returned, the community of faith will receive reimbursement payments.
When a ministry personnel files a claim, it is the responsibility of the regional council to support the ministry personnel in the event they need assistance during the claims approval process and to manage administrative tasks relating to their absence. One of the responsibilities of the Regional Council is to ensure that appropriate arrangements for pastoral care are made for the ministry personnel and the community of faith. As the absence continues, the appropriate Regional Council body can follow the progress of the ministry personnel's absence so that the pastoral care needs of both the community of faith and the disabled ministry personnel can be met. Finally, the Regional Council will need to inform the Office of Vocation of the medical absence. Some of the responsibilities of the Regional Council during a medical absence are fulfilled by staff. It is the responsibility of the Regional Council staff to provide the necessary forms to the Ministry personnel planning to file a claim and monitor the progress of the medical absence. This includes maintaining a dialogue with Morneau Chappelle on the status of the ministry personnel's absence. They will also work with your MNP committee to discuss the return to work. So there you have it, the restorative care plan, a comprehensive health support plan for ministry personnel, lay employees, communities of faith, and regional councils, providing vital assistance to individuals recovering from illness and preparing to return to work. The Restorative Care Plan, your route back to health and life.